Good evening. Hello, Anayansi. Hello, Cesar. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And you? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm well. Okay. Tell me, Cesar, yeah. what do you do? Um, I, right now, and I, I was working uh, in the day, but I, I take my classes at the university, uh, from the university. So uh, it's, for that is, I am a little bit tired, right? Okay. So it, it's a pleasure uh, meet, to meet you. Okay, me too, pleasure to meet you. And tell me, uh, what do you do, Cesar? What is your job? I'm a shoemaker. Excellent. And you make, you are a shoemaker. You make personal shoes or only repair shoes or what? Uh, all. I, I, I can uh, do all, right? I can mm -hmm. repair shoes and I can make shoes. But right now, um, uh, I'm making new shoes, right? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That's very nice, very interesting, Cesar. Good evening, okay. teacher. Good evening, Anayansi. Tell us about yourself. Excuse me? Introduce yourself. Oh. Tengo un poco lento el internet, teacher. No problem, no problem, Anayansi. It's okay. All right. Okay, I see we have a lot of people. Well, not a lot, but we have many people coming in. Okay. First, let's check. Um, para alguien, esta es la primera vez que estudian clases de inglés uh, en línea con inglés corporativo. Hay alguien que no ha estudiado anteriormente. Eh, esta es mi primera vez en, en clase así en línea. Ok, ok, excelente Miguel. Entonces voy a tomar los primeros minutos para explicarle cómo es que funciona para que estar seguro que sepan cómo es la plataforma, las notas mínimas, los exámenes, todo ese tipo de información. Ok. You ready? Ready, teacher. Ready. Excellent. Ok. Ok. All right, well, first, my name is Edwin and I'm going to be your teacher. This is intermediate, okay? So you are in intermediate in this moment. You are going to have here in the course, five units. We have five units in the course. Section one, two, three, four, and five. We have, hang on. we have in, Section one, uh, two, three is normal, but in section three, we have an exam. The exam in section three is for one, two, and three. Then you have another exam in section five. The exam in section five is exam one, two, three, four, and five, okay? Two exams, exam one, is after section three, okay, is the three units. Exam five, okay, when we finish it, uh, when we finish section five, we have exam all of the units. Now, in each section is necessary complete activities. The activities are with this picture. This picture that says knowledge check is obligation. You have to have 80 or more. It's necessary 80 or more to pass. And here we have many knowledge checks. Okay. You can check the progress here in the progress bar. You click in the progress and you can see the grades. You can see the grade for each section and the grade for the homework 
the grade for the exam, and the grade for the final. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? No. No? No. Okay. What is the okay. minimum to pass? Eighty percent. Eighty, exactly. The minimum is eighty. Very good. Okay. And what activities are obligation? The picture number one. Okay. Similar. Good. Re remember, the obligations are these pictures right here. The one with the notebook and the pen. These are the grades. These are obligation. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Any questions? No? Okay. ¿Cuántos de ustedes pudieron ver el video? No? ¿No lo pudieron ver? Yes. Uh, yo sí. Yes. yes. I, I yes. cannot. I can see. Miguel, yes. Stephanie, I yes. Cannot. Oh, Stephanie, no. Oh, Stephanie, no. No problem. Okay. Because I have my work. No problem, Stephanie. It's okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. All right. So today, the activity is we are going to practice a little bit for the past tense. Okay. Here, Cesar, please read the instructions. Um, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. Uh, for example, I was born in Korea. I grew up. Uh, I grew up in United States. I moved here ten years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be you'll be able to ask an answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss, will help you, will help you discuss your background in greater detail, detail and get to know people. Okay, good. Also, we have... Okay, the pronunciation is able to okay able to able mm -hmm. okay. okay good all right so now we're going to practice a little bit of making the questions mm -hmm. okay we're going to practice with our partner making questions with was were questions with did Okay, we're going to discover and learn about each other. So as an example, I can make questions with was or were or did. What is the difference? When do I use was, okay, or were? And then when do I use did? I think that the was and, and were are for the verb to be in past and it is for the another verbs. Okay, very good. Was, were is the verb to be in the past. Exactly. And with was, were is not necessary another verb. The was and were we use for professions, locations, or adjectives, okay? So as an example, professions, were you a student? Were you a doctor? Or now, are you an engineer, right? This is the verb to be. We use in the present, um, is, are, in the past, was, were. Number two, 
locations. Locations are for, were you born in San Vicente? Were you born in Santa Ana? This is location. Oh, I was in El Tunco last week. This is for locations. And then for adjectives, uh-huh. I was a small baby. I was a fat person. I was happy this morning, okay? This is for adjectives. Did we use with always with other verbs or other actions? Did we use with actions? So for example, did you live in Santana, in Chalchuapa? Did you study English in high school? Okay, it's okay the difference was, were, and did? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, good. Now we're going to practice asking and answering the partner a small interview and get to know the partner. We're going to discover the partner. So for example, we're going to ask WH questions. Ah, where were you born? Uh, did you study in the university? Are you, uh, we are going to ask different questions to our partners. Okay. Alguien necesita el vocabulario o no sabe cómo preguntar algo o no está entendiendo lo que yo estoy diciendo? All is okay. All is okay. All right. Muy bien. Si es posible, acuérdense, los que tienen, los que tienen audífonos es excelente. Y si es posible, los que no, si tienen, conéctenlo. ¿Por qué? Porque para ustedes muchas veces no suena fuerte, pero muchas veces para los compañeros, eh, la tele, gente hablando, eh, otros sonidos en la casa, los vendedores son, suenan un montón. Entonces, si tienen audífonos, conéctenlo. Y si no, no se preocupen, hacemos lo mejor que podemos. Así que tranquilos. All right? No es obligación, sino que simplemente es una forma de tratar de ayudarnos mutuamente. We're ready? Ah, yes. Go ahead, Ana Yancy. Hey, qué mala gente. Nadie te quiere decir que tenés el micrófono apagado. Qué malo, compañero. Perdón, teacher. Perdón, teacher. Entendí poco. Así he hablado todo en inglés. La explicación de la diferencia entre was y where. Eh, no sé si entendí mal, pero entendí que where. Es como para cuando estamos hablando en presente y como cosas propias, lugares propios. No, Ana Yancy, qué bueno que preguntaste porque no, no me expliqué correctamente. El was, were se utiliza para cuando estás hablando en el pasado y estás hablando de profesiones ubicación o adjetivos, queremos decir descripciones. Entonces, si yo estoy describiendo a cómo me sentí ayer o estoy preguntando cómo te sentiste para tu cumpleaños, voy a usar el was or were. Okay. Si estoy preguntando de eh, dónde naciste, dónde, eh, dónde estuviste el, el fin de semana, algo así, okay. voy a usar el was were, ubicación lugares o si estoy hablando de profesiones ok el did es similar pero el did es obligatorio utilizarlo con una acción siempre los tres son para pasado was were and did son el pasado la única diferencia es que el was se utiliza para he she it were is I, you, we, they. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Yancy. Good, thank you for asking. Any other questions? 
Teacher. Yes. Eh, well, I I were este I was que no es. Yes, is I was. Es que usted dijo el I para el were. Ah, sorry, is he was, she was, it was. Okay. Sí, el, que ya me había confundido. Uh -huh. Como usted dijo, I, el I were con, cuando me estaba explicando a la compañera. Ah, dije, perdón. Sí, sí. Es he, she, it, ok, was. Also, I was. So, I was, he was, she was, it was. Oh, is uh, teacher? Yes. Uh, I have a question. Uh, when you use the verb, the verb was, is the first person and the third person. Where is only for the second person? Correct. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we have 10 minutes, five minutes and five minutes to ask and answer the partner. And then we present the information from our partner to the class. Yes. Okay, teacher. All okay, right. Teacher. Okay. And let me just move one person. Okay. Yancy no se unió al grupo.
Okay, let's try. Teacher, yes. teacher me, me confundí. Me confundí. Porque, eh, because I stay, eh, when you write eh, was it where, um, and did, ah, no, ya se borró el chat que usted puso. Was it where, era para locaciones, y no me recuerdo las otras dos. Professions, locations, and uh, adjectives. Ah, ok. Y cuando ocupaba did, era para acciones. Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, eh, si yo decía, eh, where you study, es una acción. Ok. Entonces, es donde yo me confundía. Entonces, si yo decía, where were you study? Entonces, tendría que ocupar did. Correcto. No sé si me lo puede explicar, por favor, porque sí, siento que me confundí bastante porque con el did estábamos como, como acostumbrados un poco a ocuparlo, pero was y where, eh, para mí todas son acciones. Pero, eh, ¿qué es una, ¿cuál es una acción? Estudiar. Por ejemplo, ajá, es una acción. Exacto. Estudiar. Exacto, usas did. Ok, entonces, eh, the question is... Where, where you study? No, porque where no se usa con acciones. Did se usa con acciones. Ajá. Entonces, where did you study? Correct. Ok. ¿Y, y cuándo ocupo de ocupar was y where para una locación? Eh, were you in Santa Ana yesterday? Where you? Uh -huh. Diego? Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Yes. In and an example, uh, if in profession, in adjective teacher, please. Of course, of course. Eh, Karen, no, no pudiste ver el video antes de la clase, ¿verdad? Para no, ver no, lo pude, no, no lo pude ver, pero sí había visto de que en el, en el, como el pizarrón que les decía, ocupaba where, ¿verdad? Pero solo había visto como la parte introductoria. Ya después ya okay. no lo pude ver. No, no hay problema. Eh, te voy a ayudar un... Sure, ok. Ok. Ahí están las diferentes formas. Were you in Santana yesterday es de ubicación o de lugares. Were you a patient in a hospital es de profesión o estado. Por ejemplo, puede cambiarlo por were you a doctor, were you a lawyer, were you a student, cualquier otra cosa. Están hablando de algo, ¿verdad? Y were you fat, el fat es el, la descripción o el adjetivo. Y igual lo puedes cambiar para cualquier otro. Were you skinny? Were you small? Were you short? Ok. Esa es la diferencia. Did siempre tiene que haber una acción. Una actividad que se hace. ¿Diego? Yes. Uh, bueno, when I try to explain it in English. I think it, the question is, uh, what is the meaning the, the verb was and were? For example, was a word is uh it's the past verb to be so it's when eh, it's like when 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 I was there when I was but did is the past verb verb do is action de lo que hice entonces creo que aquí la 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 idea errónea o lo que no se equivoca a mí me pasaba es que was es donde yo estuve y did es lo que yo hice I think this is different Okay, good, Diego. Very good. All right. 
Uh, Herson, you had a question? No. Okay, Karen, Karen, you have a question? Yes, teacher, excuse me, and uh, thank you for Diego. Uh, Diego. <laughs> and in, in where you in Santana yesterday, it is saying, say, uh, did you were in Santana yesterday or no? No, it's not correct. Okay. Because okay. did is with activity. For, for example, did you work in Santa Ana yesterday? Did you go to Santa Ana uh, yesterday? But it's I, I understand. It's necessary activity with did. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, perfect. All right. Now we're going to see if we understand the difference with did a little bit more. Now with our partner, we are going to complete exercise 1.2 in the platform. In the platform, we have knowledge check 1.2. Here we have five different questions. And with your partner, you select, you read and select the answer, or you read and select the question, which is the correct. For this activity, only three minutes only three minutes with your partner. Here, I, I have a question. Yes. Um, could you send the video again? Because I wasn't in the group. Oh, it's no problem. It's the video from the platform. You can- Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand. Uh -huh. Yes. It's only to make it easier, I send, but it's the same video from the platform. Okay. okay so. Thanks. No problem. So now 1.2 with our partners, three minutes. Stephanie, what happened?
Okay, let's check the answers to make sure everything is okay. Number one, who would like to do number one? The second one. Okay, please read it, Stephanie. Um, did she play soccer in high school? No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Thank you very much. Good job, Stephanie. All right, who's number two? When did you graduate from college? Is the second. I graduated from college in 2005. Okay, good. Okay. Number three. Me, teacher. Okay. In teacher. number one, where did you grow up? Okay, where did you grow up? Yes. Number four. Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, I began to study English two years ago. Um, and it's, it's the first one. When did you begin to study English? Okay, good. Remember here, the pronunciation is began, began. Okay, began. Okay, and the last number five. Me again, I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you have a bed when you were a child? Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. All right, let's see. Very good, we can check all the answers. Ah, excellent, you see? All of the answers are correct. Any questions? With the second, because we didn't use did. In the, in the question. Uh-huh. Yes, here. In the answer. Uh-huh. When we are using did in a question, uh, I understand that we had to use did with the verb in present in, when we answer the question. No, never. 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 In, never in this did. case, only did is for questions, not for the answers. O sea que no vamos a responder con did eh, la pregunta porque... Nunca. 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 Ok. Uh -huh. Solo es did para preguntas. Y uh -huh. en, el, en el caso creo que para respuestas cerradas sí se puede ocupar como yes I did. O, ah, la, I la did. respuesta para de sí o no. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Okay, yes. So, aquí, por ejemplo, aquí, tal vez se está viendo en esta. Did she play high school, soccer in high school? Ok. Entonces, vamos a puedes contestar. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Cuando está solo sí o no. Pero cuando tenemos, por ejemplo, WH, no usamos did. La única forma que usamos okay. did es cuando es negativo, when it's negative. Ok. Is only necessary the activity. Las respuestas con did también creo que son respuestas siempre cerradas, ¿verdad, teacher? Como sí o de sí o no. Cuando sí, es, igual la pregunta was. es W question, es una pregunta abierta, entonces no se ocupa eh. nunca. Igual con eh, was were, exacto, Miguel. Was sí. were es la misma forma. Uh -huh. Cualquiera que empieza con un auxiliar siempre es yes or no. Y el auxiliar que, usa, que usaste. Good. Any other questions? No? Okay. Let's continue then. Now we go on to our next one. Here, who would like to read the instructions or the objective of this lesson? Can I read again? Yes, <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you will be able, able to make a, a positive able? and able. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, by the end of this class, you will able to make a positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. 
Additionally, you will you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you come to a United States. This English conversation a skill will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Okay, excellent. So this is what we're going to practice is introducing yourself. The idea is introduce yourself and respond to questions. We already practiced the questions. Did you, were you, the, what did you, these are the questions. Now we're going to introduce as an example. I introduce myself, okay? My name is Edwin. I was born in San Vicente. I, I studied to be a teacher in the university. I speak English and I speak Spanish. I liked going shopping with my children when I was young. That's it. For example, you describe yourself. Introduction for you. You are ready? Yes? Okay. All right. Let's go with uh, Harrison. All right, Harrison. Go ahead, Harrison, introduce yourself. Okay, como que no, okay, all right. Harrison, you have problems? Okay, somebody else then. All right, let's go with somebody else. All right, let's go with Jose Carlos. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, good evening, my name is Jose Carlos. Uh, I was, uh, I, I, I was in my work yesterday. Uh, I, I was born in Apaneca. Uh, only, only this. Okay, it's okay, Jose. Begin small, no problem. It's okay. Alex Perez, go ahead, Alex. Hello, my name is Alejandra Perez. Ah, but no, I no. like <laughs> Alex. Mm -hmm. And I was a study manager. Uh, Four years ago, and now I work in. Uh, I really like to to learn English, and I want to speak. <laughs> and only that. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Let's try another one. All right. Herson, ¿ya lo arreglaste? ¿Cualquier problema que tuviste, Herson? ¿Ya saliste del baño? No, teacher. Tuve un Excellent. Bajo All right, Herson. There we go. In introduce yourself, Herson. Uh, uh, with me or my compañeros? No, no, you, you, you. Ah, okay. Uh, my name is Herson Elias. Uh, I was born in Seapango. Uh, I am 24 years old. Uh, I don't know where, uh, actually, uh, I am student at the Don Bosco University. Uh, the, the student is an uh, engineer telecommunication. Um, I lead 
uh, in my parents and one sister. Okay, thank you, Harrison. Good, good. Did you see? Excellent, excellent. All right, Alma, Alma, introduce yourself. Hello. Hello, Alma. My name is Alma. Um, I was in Ciudad Arza. It's very good. My my class in English. My uh, my profession is is teacher. Uh, I was I was home in the years the years in the moment no 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 hope. So, so. It, it's okay, hey, Alma. Relax. It's no problem. It's no problem. It's okay. Only I don't understand, Alma. I know host. I I I know. ¿Qué quería decir en la última? Eh, quería decir, este, no estoy trabajando, pero ah. no la puedo formular. Eh, me, 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 es que eh, no la pude formular bien. No el, el, la pronunciación. Recuerdo que es. El trabajo es hog, algo así. No, ah, no, no es. Eh, eso es empleo. Trabajar es work. Ah, eh, empleo. Eh, 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 uh -huh. Ajá, ok. So, vas, a decir, vas a decir, la oración correcta es I don't work. I don't work. Ok, good alma. I don't work. Correct. Y si lo usamos en el pasado, ahí es donde Thank vamos you. a usar. I didn't work, por ejemplo. Good, Alma. All right. I didn't work. Okay, no problem. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Now we're going to continue and we're going to practice using the correct verb to be. With the partner, we read here in 1.5. 1.5, we check and select the correct sentence. Which is the correct sentence? <clears throat> We're ready? Yes, really. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. good.
Okay, let's check. Number one, which is the correct use? Number he one. was born in Spain. Okay, good. What about number two? We're in France. Okay, good. Number three? I was born in Mexico. Good. Number four. Where? Where? My Where? wife and I were in Mexico. Where in Mexico. And number five. Was. Yeah. Was. Okay. Good. Excellent. <coughs> was. Were. Okay. There. Very good. Okay. Ahora pueden ver. Yes, Diego, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Yes, I have an equation where the, in the four equation, when you use was or were, because it, the, the sentences say my wife and I, I think, it, I think when I use I, you use was, but in that case, I, I think, um, these uh, sentences, this write in another one in in different form. Uh, mm -hmm. You include, you can substitute this, my wife and I substitute with we, and you can use word, but uh, in that case, when you write my wife and I write in this form, I can you, I think the correct answer is was, but I don't, I don't have an idea. I have it, I, I don't, I don't know. Tell me, I don't know. Can you explain that that case, please? Yes. Here we have the explanation, right here. Whenever we use I, he, she, or it is was, but you, we, and they is were. When you have two people, my wife and I is two, and you are included. So for this is the word they. Uh, sorry, the word we. So because it's we we use the word were. If not, if they don't have my wife, then only I, then is correct. I was. But here we have two people, my wife and I, which is we. So for we, we always use were. So it doesn't matter what the right, if you to refer a two people is word. In this case, it's word because it's a third person. Correct. It's a second or third person. Cor it doesn't matter what is right, the, the dance, the equation. No, it doesn't matter. For example, my wife and Andrea. Okay. But the two people is were. They were. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, so, so when, when you have a singular, is for when I use was. But right. when, I, uh, when we have a plural, we use a word, right? More or less. Correct. More or less. Uh, remember that the difference is because you is singular or plural. So is that, but always you use you is where. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any other questions? Teacher. Yes, Stephanie. We we have class tomorrow. Yes, Stephanie. We have class tomorrow. And Saturday too. <laughs> Saturday no, but Friday, yes. <laughs> okay. Then only tomorrow. For this week, yes. This week, tomorrow. Okay, teacher. And then the class on Monday. Only this week, Friday. And the other weeks, the class normal, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not Friday, only this week, Friday. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any other questions? No? Okay, oh. so this means that today we complete, already we complete, for knowledge check 1.2 and knowledge check 1.5. This is necessary that you complete in the platform, in your platform, okay? That way we progress. 
if you have the possibility, watch the videos before the class. That way in the class is easier for you if you watch the videos before the class. Yes? yes. Okay, teacher. Good. Okay. Now, the other, now that we are almost finished is, okay. ¿Cómo se sintieron? ¿Cómo, cómo sienten? Sienten muy pesado, muy difícil. Well, for me, it's easy, teacher. Okay, for Stephanie, it's easy. Okay. For me, for me, it's easy. Easy okay. too, but uh, I only have a, a little problem with the platform because it's the first time I use the platform. But the, the class is easy and it's very nice. Okay. I like it class. Good, Miguel, good. Okay. For me, teacher, uh, a little bit uh, difficult, pero me gustó su dinámica. Okay, thank you, okay. thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Yancy. Okay. Good. Yo, yo pregunto porque no sé si todos han, han hecho evaluación para estar en intermedio. Algunos ya vienen anteriormente y han pasado a intermedios. Y es importante que... La idea no es de pasar, no es de, ah, quiero bajar de nivel, sino que si ustedes el primer día se sienten muy difícil, no hay problema, lo podemos ubicar en un nivel donde se sienten más cómodos, pero si se sienten bien, excelente, y seguimos el progreso. No tenga ninguna pena, lo importante es que vayamos al su ritmo y vayamos viendo en su nivel. Todos estamos en diferentes niveles. Entonces, no hay nada mal con preguntar. No hay nada mal con decir, hey, yo hoy no entendí. O, hey, hey hoy sí entendí. Y mañana puede ser que no. Entonces, no, vamos a tener días así. Así que no se preocupen. Lo importante es ser honesto y cuando tengan dudas, no tener pena. Y decir, hey, ¿sabe qué? A mí no me quedó claro. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. For me, was a good class. Okay, good. Then excellent. Then I see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for coming. See you, thank you teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.